Hello Handheld Gamers and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to look at the recent FSR 2.2 implementation on Forza Horizon 5 and we're going to do a comparison. Which is best? Steam Deck or One X Player? So first things first, we will look at the Steam Deck since it's closest to me. So settings wise, we have kept the power envelope set to 8 watts and we have target 40 FPS refresh rate. It will upgrade the performance overlay just so you can see a bit more information here. And at the moment, we're discharging it 15 watts. And you'll probably find, in fact you will find when the game gets up and running, it will carry on running about 15 watts. So it's, it's actually really sipping power, which uh, Forza Horizon 5 is always pretty good at on the Steam Deck. Once we get up and running, as we'll see here, the game is pretty much locked to 40 FPS. So I think right at that moment it drops down. <laughs> Let's just uh, quickly get into the game. In game though, when you're racing around, you'll see around about 38 to 40 FPS. Settings wise, I should really show what settings I'm using. We are targeting 800p, as you can see there. Frame rate at 60 FPS because the next one down is 40, and we are using, oops, we are using FSR 2.2 in a balanced setting. And graphics preset wise, we've gone for medium across the board. The only thing I've turned down, or turned off in video actually, is motion blur. So I don't like it. So, you can see we've got 40 FPS there on screen. Obviously, it's a quiet area when you start out. But graphically, it just looks looks great. What we'll do first is we will find a little race that we can do a comparison on both of the units. We'll do a town scramble. Sounds good. And the game the game feels really smooth. I mean, I've been playing this game for a while, and I still can't go around corners. But that's that's definitely me, not the game. <laughs> so, FSR 2.2 landed on the Steam Deck, and sorry, it landed on Forza Horizon 5 a few days ago. And I've been messing about with it since. And that's why I've now settled on the medium settings. Should we get this focus right? I'm too busy concentrating focused, forgetting that the game actually goes out of focus when you're <laughs> playing at this point. And we're doing the cosy. Now I've got my brightness on my screen turned down quite low, as it shows up best on the camera when you do so. And I have a slightly funny angle, personally, to play this game. So I'm going to use those both as excuses for my poor, poor performance in this race. It's not really what we're measuring here. As you can see, the frame time graph is really nice and stable. And we'll see how that performs on the One X player shortly. Obviously, this is a loading screen, which can take a little while to load up. In fact, we'll just fast forward to the start of the race at this point. So you'll notice right off the bat here, the GPU sits way up at the 90% the mark most of the time. Oh dear, more run in time. And the CPU doesn't do much at all really. And I also have to concentrate like crazy just to do races it seems. Okay, so we're locked at 40 FPS there. As you can see, the graphics look just amazing on medium settings. In this game, when I first got my Steam Deck, you couldn't you couldn't play 40 FPS at medium settings. Not on FSR. It was just a smeary mess, which is why I generally targeted low settings. Oh, that was not good. I deserve to lose this race, don't I? If 
but somehow I've succeeded in winning. So, we averaged 14 to 15 watts out of the battery there. We've knocked 10% off the battery since uh, just playing this game though, I'm quite surprised by that. Um, and we did solid F40 FPS during that game, so, you know, that, that's a very good sign. And at no point could I tell the FSR 2.2 was on. It just felt like I was playing the game. Just at native resolution. So how does that translate to the 1X player? Which as we know, it's got a stronger CPU side to its APU, but its GPU side is quite a bit weaker than our DNA2 graphics that's in the Steam Deck. So we'll cut over to the 1X player now and we'll have a look at how that performs in the same race. That's similar settings. Next up we have the 1X player. I will apologise for the screen reflection that you might see on this. That's because it's got a glossy screen compared to my Steam Deck, which has the matte finish. Again, we're targeting 800p. We're on a balanced power saving plan and we have no turbo button enabled this time. Uh, we have gone for the same medium preset. And again, motion blur is switched off. We are straight away as we were pulling quite a lot more power. We were pulling 15 15 ish watts from the Steam Deck. Now we're pulling 30 from the One X player. Now when I was testing this the other day it was it was lower than that so it might settle down a little bit. But what I will say, other than the extremely loud vibration wars, is it looks just as good on the One X player. Just as good. Obviously a much bigger screen. I actually feel like I can sit further away. So again, we're using the, the balanced FSR, and we are, again, there's quite a lot of power getting chucked into the GPU side here. Now on the Steam Deck we're seeing about 50% CPU and 90, upper 90s GPU, we're seeing upper 90s GPU, but only 2% CPU now, which is interesting. Maybe that's because there's twice as many cores and threads on the One X player versus the Steam Deck. Now we'll just cut past this to the start of the race, as we did in the last video. As you can hear, the fans are going pretty fast on the 1X player, it's just what they do. If you want a quiet handheld, definitely Steam Deck and want to go for it. It rarely turns its fans on with its modified fan profile. No such luck on the, on the 1X player. Also, the um, vibration motors are extremely loud on the 1X player. I mean, they're effective, but they're very loud. So if you've made it this far in the video, I'd love for you to hit the like button. And if you've watched some other content, why not subscribe? Your uh, subscription really helps the channel, it also helps you be notified when a new video lands. I was just about to say there, wow look how good my driving's got on this console now. But actually, it's just as bad as it was two minutes ago. So again, balanced FSR 2.2, running like a dream. I mean, I, I couldn't tell you this was running FSR. I think it just looks really good. Medium preset. We were, we can't lock it to 40 FPS in the same way that we can on the Steam Deck, but you know, that's what my target was. And, well, we're actually beating that. We're getting 52 FPS there. The irony, when you run the um, benchmarking tool, the Steam Deck will get an average of 38, I think it is, or 39 in fact, and the One X player will get an average of 37. But in game, you can see quite clearly the Steam Deck is being beaten here by the One X player on raw performance. However, you might remember we set the Steam Deck to 8 watts for the uh, TPU limit and uh, the whole package was only drawn about 15 watts and now on the on the X player we're drawing 30 watts just at the CPU so well the one X player can in some games match and beat the Steam Deck 
it is at a cost, and that cost is battery life. And the battery is 50% bigger on the One X player versus the Steam Deck. However, that's only going to go so far when you're pulling so much power. And there we go. So that frame time graph is pretty good, Matt. I didn't feel any hitching at all there. We were averaging around about 50 FPS. Okay, we were pulling 25 to 30 watts, so that was quite a bit more. So, just to sum up, I'm really impressed with this FSR 2.2 update. It really has breathed some new life into the game. I mean, the game's evergreen as far as I'm concerned, but it just feels so much better just now. And to, to sum up, I think this is a good thing for the new swathe of handhelds that's going to hit the market soon, powered with the Mendocino, or Mendocino CPU. Because that's that's got RDNA 2, but it only has two CUs rather than the, I believe it's eight that the Steam Deck's got. And so it may be possible in games like Forza, which I thought if we were lucky we might be able to target 30 FPS using FSR 2, 2.2 might actually look visually quite nice too. Again, if you like what I do, please like, share and subscribe. Your viewership is really appreciated. The channel has been improving leaps and bounds. Yesterday we had almost 19 hours worth of view time reported, recorded against the channel. So, I mean, I'm just absolutely blown away. Thanks so much for all your support. And I think yesterday alone we had about 50 subscribers watching the channel and some 400 odd new viewers. So if you've not already subscribed, I'd really appreciate it if you did. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.